online. Last time we discussed about S3 bucket creation and before that we had talked about how to create an EC2 instance. Now both the things are somewhat associated with our today's lecture and today is a very basic uh, lecture that gives you an in-depth analysis of how you monitor your resources consumption and how you can, and how you do it using CloudWatch services from Amazon. So without further ado, we go to the section within services. We'll go inside CloudWatch service and we'll click CloudWatch. And basically we'll create a billing alarm today that actually gives you an indication when a certain threshold reach uh, after consuming your resources. So we'll go there and we will straight away go to the billing section. Uh, here you can see on the left hand side, you can see so many metrics and event rules and the service lenses and containers. So we, will, we are not discussing those today, but we surely going to discuss it within this playlist in, in our next lectures. So once we go to the billing, you can see over here, there are two buttons to where you can create an alarm. We'll just select create alarm. So here you are not seeing any metric. So if you are not seeing any metric, you need to go to another uh, button here and click here and you can see your metrics here or, or a graphical representation here. Now, why you are not seeing it uh, in the other button, just to give you a brief, like if you have uh, questions in that, you can go there and you can select your metric and you can select your graph metrics from here as well. Or you can select your uh, usage and by AWS resource and you can select those CloudWatch alarms from here as well. We are not doing it from here. We'll just go there, a billing alarm that basically triggers at a certain threshold when the threshold has been reached. So there, these are the metrics that we need to fill. So we have an estimated charge, the currency will be USD. So this is basically a period. So within this specified time, actually Amazon resources are going to be verified with your uh, consumption. And then if you breach that level of your threshold at that specific time, an alarm will be raised. So this period is six hours, so we'll keep it as six hours. Uh, if you want, you can specify another. So each and every 30 seconds, for instance, you select 30 seconds. So each and every 30 seconds, uh, the resources will be monitored. And if you have reached those level at that specific time, the alarm will be raised. We'll keep it as six hours. We'll keep the threshold static. An anomaly detection is uh, when some anomalies has been detected. So it's a clear representation of what actually name suggest so we'll keep it as static whenever estimated charges is greater than for instance we say five dollars and we can do some additional configurations but we'll keep it as it is and we'll go to the next so this is configure action so now we need to configure an action so trigger will be an alarm type or and we will we will simply select an sns topic sns means simple notification service so this also will be covered in the next lectures where we'll be discussed in depth. So we'll create a new topic and we will give a name as billing alarm. We'll give a name as billing alarm. So actually it's a case sensitive and the hyphen and the spaces are not allowed. So it will give an error. So we'll give it like a unique name. And this is the email actually where it has to be. Uh, and so I'm just going out that email currently. Um, so I don't want any spams on my email. So select next. And my alarm name is billing alarm ticker. Billing threshold is greater than $5. I'll just hit next. Actually, it creates an alarm and I'll just do that and it will create an alarm. So I have successfully created a billing alarm. It actually takes more than six hours to confirm. So it will give you a uh, pending confirmation. So you, you will get an email which will look like this. So now we have created an alarm. 
So what it does basically in the actions you can see uh, it is showing insufficient here. It will back to OK after certain period of time, five or six hours. So once it is OK, that means your billing alarm has been successfully done. But you have, before that, you need to confirm it by by confirming it through your email. So that's it for today. It's a very small lecture. Uh, and if you want to delete it after you have uh, created an alarm, you just simply go here and in the actions, you will simply delete it. So, and you can create another alarms as well. So thanks for watching Stats Guru Online. Have a nice day.